Instagram Reels have been around for 15 months, so it's about time we stop making these Instagram Reels mistakes, especially if you're trying to increase reach or grow your account. What's up everyone, it's Millie. Welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help you grow your brand. So give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks I have for you. First, I wanna say a huge thank you to this video shout outs. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. So if you wanna shout out in one of my future videos, be sure to screenshot yourself watching this and tag me over on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, timestamps will be in the comments down below because I value your time and you already know why you're here. So let's get into it. Mistake number one is text. There are actually quite a few common mistakes I see with text that's added onto a video. So let's go over a few of them right now. Mistake 1A, not using pop-up text. You want to use text and you should be using pop-up text in every video. Why? Because oftentimes when somebody first comes across your reel, it's muted. So you want to be able to help them understand what your reel is about with or without the audio. And the best way to explain or walk somebody through your reel is with that text or closed captions popping up. If somebody were to watch your reel from beginning to end without the audio on, they should still be able to have a full understanding of what that reel was about. One, be misplacing the text. I see this happening most often when people edit their reels outside of the Instagram app. There's nothing wrong with editing outside of the Instagram app. I do that for probably half of my videos. I use InShot to edit, but when you use an outside editing app to pop up the text, you don't have those blue lines that Instagram gives you as a guide if you were editing inside of Instagram. I suggest after editing your video in InShot, don't add the text yet, then upload it to Instagram Reels. Then you're able to add the text there. You can drag the text around to get those blue lines to pop up and they could guide you. So they tell you, hey, don't put it above this line or don't put it below this line. When editing outside of the Instagram app, you don't get those guidelines. So more often than not, people actually get their text cutting off at the top or cutting off at the bottom. It's hidden behind their caption or behind the likes comment section. So I definitely recommend using or adding the text inside of the Instagram app. Mistake 1C, using too much text. You don't want to overwhelm or confuse the viewer when they come across your reel. Keep your pop-ups short, sweet, and easy to read. Give them enough time to read the whole thing before that text disappears. I'm absolutely guilty of this. When I first started making reels, I would have my text pop up too quickly, or I would have big, big, big blurbs of just like everything I'm saying. And then these side thoughts that I had while making the reel, but you want to keep it as simple to follow as possible. So don't put those extra thoughts, just do closed captions, word for word of what you're saying, or even paraphrasing what you're already saying or what is being said in that video. Keep it short and sweet. Alrighty, mis mistake, <laughs> mistake number two. Oh my gosh. Why can I not say that? Mistake number two, crop. The most common mistake I see is when people forget about the four by five crop. Reminder, reels are filmed and uploaded in the nine by 16 dimension, which is the view you see in your reels tab. It's the story view, it's the long, what is it, hot dog? No, hot dog style's this way. It's the long view, nine by 16. But when somebody comes across your reel on their feed, your reel is actually cropped into the four by five dimension. This is most often referred to as the portrait crop. This is also used for in-feed photos or in-feed posts. Oftentimes I see people having their text cut off, which we've talked about because it's too high or too low, but what's also important is people get their faces or their heads cut off because they're not thinking about that crop when they film their reel. If you're filming your reel and your head is a little bit too high in the placement of recording, when your reel gets cut into that four by five crop, your face is usually cut off. You have less than three seconds before somebody decides if they want to watch your reel or skip past it. So the little things like being aware of your head placement do matter. If you think they don't matter and you're not seeing success with your reels, then hmm, weird, pay attention to those things. I'm just trying to help you out. Mistake number three, not being topically consistent. I know this is an obvious one, but you'd be surprised how many times I come across this. Basically, instead of saying stick to your niche, I'm choosing to say topic because I can guarantee that there is somebody watching this video right now who thinks that they have their niche down pat and that they're doing everything right, they're not, that was me, I was one of those people. So I can call you out, I can call you out because I was, I was that. What you're going to do is pick one topic to talk about on your page, one topic. Then pick three to five subtopics around that one topic. For example, my topic is Instagram. So the three to five subtopics I can teach about is Instagram growth, the algorithm, 
increasing engagement, brand collaborations, and teaching Instagram to business strategies. Those are my five subtopics. I'm only going to stick to those topics when I make my reels. Why? Because the more you stick to those topics, the easier it will be for Instagram to categorize your account and they'll be able to push your content to the right people. If you're not being topically consistent right now, your videos are being viewed, but they're not being viewed by the right people. Boom. Before diving into mistake number four, I want to invite you to a free one hour masterclass that I'm teaching on Instagram, specifically for anybody who wants to grow their Instagram as an influencer and turn their personal brand into their full-time job. I'm going to be answering the question, is Instagram dying? Explaining further the Instagram algorithm, how to make money on the platform and so much more goodness. Basically, if you want to be a full-time influencer, I created this masterclass specifically for you. I'll leave a link below where you can save your spot. Mistake number four, not saving your videos. Instagram is really glitchy. I can't tell you how many times I've had people messaging me saying, Millie, all my videos are gone. Like I've had students who have experienced this, my friends, myself. Sometimes Instagram has a mind of its own and decides, hey, let's just delete all of their videos that they spent eight hours batching. That'd be hilarious. I don't know why they do it. I don't know why. I save my reels once after I have them recorded, and then again after I have the text edited and added to my liking. When you go to save them, sometimes there will be a pop-up that says, this video is going to save without the audio, and that's fine, just save it anyway. You can always add the audio on top of the video afterwards, just save your reels, save your reels. We don't know why they disappear. Sometimes you updated the app. Sometimes if you've logged out of your account or just because Instagram felt like it, like we don't know why exactly they disappear, but always save them as a backup. Now mistake number five I see people make is trying to go viral. Now hear me out, there's nothing wrong with wanting to go viral. I actually have a video that teaches how to increase your chances of going viral right here. But the mistake happens when you are solely focusing on going viral and you forget about your audience. You forget about what, what you're doing. <laughs> I see this happen all the time where somebody wants to just follow where the trends are going and they're only making trending content, but they're forgetting to make it relevant to their niche or relevant for their audience. So it's not sticking. Always ask yourself before you post, Am I showing up for my audience with this? Is this valuable to my audience? And by valuable, I mean, is it educational, inspirational, entertaining, or relatable? How does this post show up and cater to the audience that I either currently have or want to have. Mistake number six, video quality. There are two mistakes when it comes to video quality that come up more frequently. First one, say you recorded your reel in 4K, it's the best quality ever. Then you go to post it to reels and all of a sudden the quality drops. That's because Instagram is using its own compressor to fit your video into their 1080p. You want to have your video already at 1080p to keep the best quality possible. Second, you need to remove any logos that might be on the video before uploading. And by logos, I don't mean like brand of clothes you're wearing. I mean specifically, if you posted that video to TikTok first and then it saved to your camera roll with the TikTok logo, that needs to go. Instagram has said themselves in posts that videos with logos will not perform well and their reach will be affected. In the past, everyone and myself's advice was to screen record your TikTok before publishing and that way it automatically removes the logo, but TikTok has changed their design since then. So what I recommend using is the website snaptick.app, which I'll link below, and that's how I've been removing my TikTok logos. Mistake number seven is overthinking it. If you're stuck and you haven't created reels, you're probably overthinking it. Your reels don't have to be perfect. They don't have to go viral. They don't have to hit whatever expectation it is that you have set in your head. All you have to do is show up, even if it's a five second video. Go to the reels tab on your phone right now. Go, come on, go to Instagram, scroll, start scrolling. Once you hear an audio more than once, save that audio, just save it. You don't have to know what sort of spin you're going to add to it yet, just save it and keep going. Sooner or later, you'll have 10 sounds saved. With those 10 sounds, you have 10 videos that you can batch record right now, and you can think of a way to apply your fun twist to it a little bit later. 
just take action in whatever order you need to, to get a video up. Even if you feel like you have no clue what you're doing, I have no clue what I'm doing sometimes. I have reels in my drafts right now where I've literally just recorded myself lip syncing to an audio and I still haven't figured out how to apply it to my niche. But once I figure that out or once I get an idea, they're there. <laughs> they're ready to go. I just add my text and I post it. I have videos just up the wazoo, ready to go. Okay, not up, the, it's not that many. There's like five, there's maybe five in there, but it's something I recorded. That's all that matters. Again, don't overthink it. There's no right or wrong way for cr the creation process. If you just need to get that spark started again, just, just go for it. Alrighty, mistake number eight, not putting a call to action on your videos. Come on, you want to treat each reel like it's gonna be somebody's first time coming across your face. At the end of every reel, make sure to add a call to action or CTA. A CTA is something like follow for more Instagram tips, follow for part two, comment a orange heart emoji if you agree with this. You know, you're encouraging somebody to take a follow or encouraging them to engage with your post. You never know which of your videos might pop off and you want to increase your chances of getting more followers by having a call to action on every video you produce. Now I'm curious, comment below which mistake you were making, but you won't anymore. You'll stray away from it. I wanna know, cause I've, I've, I've probably made, I've made all of those mistakes, all of them. You're not alone. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. I know there's some of you out there that just watch these videos of mine and you haven't subscribed yet. No harm, no foul. It's a win-win, really. So hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next video. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Follow your joy. Bye.